Welcome gamers to episode 19 and what should be the last of the episodes I would assume of this particular Let's Play series. We are playing of course Age of Wonders 4 with the DLC. Uh, we're just going to go straight after Karen. She's the last one left. Um, if we don't get her within what about what's 15 or so turns it, the game will end anyway. So she's got the enthralled orcs uh, and we're just going to go straight after her capital to start with. So up we go. So we'll enter this one. Um, and capital is right there. So we'll just sort of start to make our way over. Um, I'll just leave everything where they are and then we'll move, we'll do a bit of a reshuffle with some of these units. Some of the other units we've got have taken a bit of a bit of a beating. Um, yeah, posts. I think we'll just go straight for it, you know. It's only got a hundred. It's not, nowhere near as strong as Karen's castle that we sort of had to, had to deal with in the last episode. Um, let's get these guys out of here. Yeah. Over we go. Yeah. Went to the wrong place, so I'll enter. What's there? Still water. I'll just move this one up. Get this one out of the way. That's better. Trying to get this one to come and join with the rest of the group. Get everyone together. Okay, we'll end our turn and then we'll just start to make our way across. I'm going to pause again until we sort of are into areas where we're going to be then be fighting, but we are now pretty much heading into the final stages. In fact, I might just keep it going just while we sort of uh, march forward. So we'll sort of march into here. Yeah, we can see that there's a lot of units back in through there. So we should start to expose these as we, uh, as we crest this hill. And we can then put another scrying spell on, on these if we wanted to. Yep, so we can now start to see things. Let's let's use a scrying spell. So we'll... Um, oh, blocked by a spell jammer. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of the spell jammer. Um, I'll leave... Actually, I'll just, I will delete that one. Yes, we will abort it. Spell jammer over there, so we'll have to get rid of that. It really is a very well thought out game, Age of Wonders. Um, no wonder I like it so much. <laughs> it is just awesome. And that one can at least get into here. Yeah, we'll still trespass. This province is being pillaged. I'm going to wait for it to hit the uh, the mainland before I go after this one here. Let's just go back in and start to get a few more of these. Uh, maybe just more iron golems, I think. Null shield. Good. Okay, select new research. This is a terraforming spell. Go that one there. Yeah, I'll grab that. Why not? Why not? We've got no uh, no dramas at all with any of our income. So production for Iron Grad. Um, grab the major skills. 
Oh, that's caught us. Ah, that's Karen there. Uh, sorry, that's a, that's Carissa. She's actually um, she's actually level uh, eleven. Now, the fact that she's back there. Now we did lose one of our good units there. If we destroy her. I think what we'll do is we'll take our best and go back after her and then take the rest of them back over this other side. So let's go and use this unit to go back as well. So we'll hunt her down with this with this stack. So we've got a little way to go. And I will actually use... which one shall I leave behind? Maybe this one here. Then we want you as well. That's actually probably enough, you know. Um, so I do... Oh God, do I want to use one of these? I think I'll keep them coming back the other way. Get my spares. There's more spares there. Looks like there's a fair few in that side. Let's use these spares back over this other side as well. So we'll split those up and then we'll split these in. See how far can they all get? Can start the attack. I prefer to get rid of the spell jammer before we do anything. But I can sort of zip out and, and get rid of that. Siege projects in here. Get those. Um, undermine the walls and these are the defense structures that they've got. So they've got um, archer posts. Trops, catapult towers, and stone walls. I'll grab that one. Three turns. Okay, that's going to be fine. So, uh, we'll end our turn here. We'll just check and see what else we can do. That's all okay. We'll end our turn. So they did catch us, but this is good. We did flesh out where Carissa was. So she's going to be running off somewhere else. We'll just watch and see where she goes. There she goes. Across the oceans. Interesting. Okay, we know where you are. Uh, yeah, I was just looking, I'll pause while we just go through all this sort of stuff. Okay, so Carissa's actually now heading south. Um, so our army that's chasing her is right here, so we'll just move them through. And to keep it going, um, we have destroyed, in the meantime, the spell jammer and just getting ready for this assault with the other three. So we'll just keep this one going. We are closing in. Might as well pillage that while we're going through. 
move them through as well. Okay, anyway, we'll, um, I might just grab another one of these. Our mana is, we, you know, the actual extra mana is sort of starting to dry up a bit, but that's still all okay. Um, not really too concerned about what we build in here. Anyway, look, I'll pause again until we catch up. Actually, you've now unlocked enough, uh, you've unlocked the Beacons of Unity. You have control over enough of the world map to unlock the Beacon of Unity improvement. Uh, building these special improvement uh, province improvements will put you on the path to achieving an expansion victory. So, um, you know, that's sort of where we are. So we're sort of heading down towards that way if we wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about it because we're so close to getting the domination victory anyway. So we'll just continue on, just keep on where we are. Now, they're building up a big army in here, but I don't think it's all that strong. They do actually have a commander there. Oh, actually, I'm just saying they've got a horned god in there. Um, so they've got some strong units. <laughs> but overall, their, their actual stacks aren't really all that good. So I can actually, I'm going to be able to pick and choose my way in here a little bit, unless they split this one up and put them into there. But I'll still have a bit of a choice as to where I go with my, the actual attack itself. Again, this thing just keeps on pillaging provinces. Okay, so... Um, yeah, where's she gone? I lost track of her. Ah, there she is. She's come back into Bulletin. Okay, so we'll just move our forces in to besiege Bulletin straight away. Start the siege, add siege projects again, just get the big ones in first. Um, break the battlements and then also undermine the walls, there we go. So four turns and then we'll have her done as well. Now is there, is it got a sacred meadow in there? Not seeing spell jammers anywhere? So I think we're okay. Okay, so we've got a couple of big battles to come uh, with what we're going to be doing in here. So I'll just leave that one there. This is going to happen in the next turn. So we'll end our turn here. They may come after us uh, just because they've got enough forces to be able to do that. But um, generally, they'll sort of sit back in and just wait for the actual attack to come. Okay, well. If we attack this one, we do actually have a massive advantage. If I go that way, it's not as easy as this one here. So there's going to be two left over no matter what we do. So let's just go this way first. This is the easiest of the battles for us. Because we're getting so close to the end, I think I'm just going to auto this one. It would be interesting to see the like things like the Roving Furnace and the Horn God and these sorts of uh, creatures in the battle. Um, this is not the strongest group that we have either, you know. So, so it's sort of a it's an interesting sort of mix. We do have two heroes. We certainly completely overwhelm them, though. I think. Look, I'm just going to auto it at this stage. We lost uh, the this one here. I'm just going to allow that to happen, I think, at this stage. So I'm just going to go, OK, no worries. We'll close that one off, because we're basically at the end. And we'll auto this one as well. There we are. Close. OK, so that's now the end of that one. Um, being proven, uh, being done through there, so that we're going to um, we're going to vassalize the city. Rally produced armor, armor. Okay, I'm going to 
really care. So Carissa has now lost her city and we've got her under siege in through this other side. Three more turns. She's really got nothing left now. There was another stack somewhere. She did have other units somewhere around. She may try to get them back into where she is. We can see that there was movement back over this way, but that may be the ones that were... No, there's pillaging ones back over here. Province being pillaged. Okay, so that's fine. Shipyard. God, I've just got to find something that's going to take a bit of time. <laughs> That'll do. Stonemason back in through here. And look, it's not, not even going to be worth doing this um, This other one. I'll get the Seafarer's Guild. Not that I really need it. That's all okay. Two more turns. They can't get there in time for that. Leave them where they are. One more turn. Um, there we go. We'll just help them. We're not going to do. We're not going to do anything that's actually good. Uh, we'll leave that one alone. There's nothing else for us to do there. Actually, or is there? Or is there? Yeah, Null Shield. I want that. Now, what's going to take a bit of time? That'll do. She's got a little bit of uh, support now, but not too much. I like that they've actually put this as a quest now. When you do get the capital, you would now know where they're hiding, which is a good... A good thing. So one more turn, and then we've uh, then we're done. Then it's going to be the end of the game, the end of the end of the series. Ten rounds until we get the score victory, anyway. But we're not going to need it. <laughs> so we've got uh, Null Shield is ready. We'll cast that one, of course. So all of these guys are going to get this special status resistance shield. So we'll enchant everyone. I'm just going to continue. Um, Province is being pillaged again, back over through here. Alright, well, here we go. The siege starts. The or, you know, we basically now finish it all off. This is the end of Carissa. It's again, it's too overwhelming to even play out. What do we? Do we want to play it out? No, it's too she's got nothing. She really has got nothing. So no, I think we'll just go straight for it. Just go straight for the victory. Because we know we know what the result's going to be, so we'll auto combat this one, and then we get the victory screen. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even lose a single unit. Awesome stuff. So Carissa is now gone. We'll close that one off, and here we go. Here we go. Military victory in turn 141. That's a long game. That's a long game there. That's but that was good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Victor stands proudly on the remains of their enemies. You subjugated this world through force, as the empires of the past did before you. When the dust settles, you will discover whether your cause was just or whether you merely fanned the, f the flames of entropy. We'll show the journey. So we can zoom back out. This is the um, this is the overall victory that we actually achieved so we sort of ended up achieving all of this in through here but if we go back through this is sort of where we started back in through this other side and then we we were the ones that destroyed everyone else actually as we went uh so we just kept on going from strength to strength so as we sort of started off i mean the different empires all sort of fanned out uh we d we expanded relatively quickly you can see there a fairly meteoric rise to power so by turn 
20, we were sort of at the top of the top of the leaders tree. And we didn't really come down much from that point. A, a Karen got ahead of us there. Uh, she was underground. But uh, really, overall, we actually dominated all the way through, which was, of course, good. <laughs> <laughs> probably not as probably not as much fun to watch, I guess. But it was a good, it was a fun game to play, and so we sort of then destroyed um, destroyed the hobbits, sort of in, in like over over through there. Then the next one up, I forget who that one was that we ended up getting in through that side. Um, oh, that was uh, the elves at the top. Uh, then we got the God, I forget which group that one was that we ended up sort of picking up in through there. Um, I can't think of who that was. That was the dragon. The dragon. Then we ended up getting Lucian back over through there, which was, and then, and then finally Karen, in pretty, pretty, pretty rapid succession after that, and then Carissa. We hunted her down to her final, final hiding spot, and then finally destroyed her, and took victory back in through there. So oh, look, I won't go through all of the different bits and pieces with this one, but uh, you can sort of have a look at the, you know, there's diplomatic rankings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I won't bother going through that. That's the overall. I mean, diplomacy. We're not going to be. Actually, we did do reasonably well with diplomacy. Uh, economy. Yeah, just a steady rise. Um, expansion. Yeah, we did well there. Um, military, of course, doing very, very well. Research. We actually ended up doing very well in research. That surprised me. Usually with the difficulty settings and things, I don't often do well in research, but we did actually okay. Um, so that was good. That was really, really cool. We are finished, guys. We are finished. So I'm just going to click on done. And what we then get is we're going to get a whole lot of points that we can then go and spend. So it's Conquest of the Realm has given him a chance to ascend to your pa uh, pantheon. Will you grant Kerr Gildencrest his ascendance? The leader will join your pantheon and potentially assist you in future conquests. Of course, of course we want him in there. This is our first Reaver victory. Like our first proper Reaver victory. I've had other ones where I've sort of just been live streaming, and um, but I, I, don't I don't take them to this conclusion. But I want the points in this case. So I'm going to go and accept... So he's now joins the Pantheon. So this is a, a, with the other li other ones that we've actually had. Picked up a lot of points into here. Got plus six Pantheon points. So we can sort of start to unlock a few different things. Might have a look at that as well. So these are the 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 uh, how the points within sort of all allocated. Um, that's all great. Okay, so we'll go across to the rewards now. Actually, I can just click on done. That will then take us back out to here. Not seeing him on the on the dais, but anyway, it's um. We have a fair few out there now on that one. So let's just go to my Pantheon and go to the rewards because we've got, we've got six we can now spend. Um, so we have the Halberd These are in the Item Forge. These are all Item Forge things. Now there was some extra things back over here that we may want to look for. There was a different way of playing. Merciless Slavers is one I want to get and Relentless Crusaders is another one I want to get so I'm going to go back up this way that gives me Merciless Slavers now we've got the um, the Avian Reavers banner icon or just the Caruso banner icon let's go with that one there it looks a bit more interesting and then we can go and get the Relentless Crusaders that gives us different ways of playing we've still got two more that we can unlock um, and most of these are just going to be items for the item forge Unlocks a new banner icon. Yeah, these are uh, everything else is cosmetic, I think. I don't think there's anything else I've left that I need to try to get hold of. Geomancer's crown. Now that's pretty much got everything, I think, now. So, um, unlock the captain's axe and shield. Uh, yeah, you can see I can come back up this other way. These are just icons. with the um, Ring of Flames. Let's go that way. Dwarven Great Hammer. Let's go that way as well. There we go. So that's now we've, um, so we've at least we've got these two here, the Merciless Slavers, which gives us different ways of actually playing the game, which I like the idea of that. So uh, we'll just go back. So we've only unlocked 46%. I've got to play more, guys. I've got to play more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series. It's been fun to play. Um, 
uh, it, it was it was cool actually. It was um, you know it's the game progresses really quite nicely. I sort of almost wish I had have played out those last couple of uh, battles, but look in the end we we were so strong in the end. Uh, so I will actually leave it there. Just quit out of that one through there and. Uh, Fantastic game, absolutely. Like the series, is, as I said, you know, I've said, you know, ad nauseum, it's my favourite series of games for the last 20 odd years, more than 20 years. Uh, I've loved the Age of Wonder series. Uh, had so much enjoyment over over the decades. <laughs> it's funny saying that, you know, it's like it's, it's almost flippant, but it's it really is over decades. I've enjoyed this series enormously. So um, yeah, thank you, Triumph, for uh, for this exceptional series of games and. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed the series, guys. So please like and subscribe, um, and I'll leave it there. I'll catch you in the next series of whatever. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe Distant Worlds or something like that. But uh, anyway, we'll be back. We'll be back with, with bigger and better games to play. Not better games to play, but bigger and better series. Anyway, let's just keep on going. I'll catch you next time.